French case has two more, if you, can, if you say them, three election rounds. The first round is the presidential election, you, you, you choose the person. At the end of June, there will be the legislative elections, which means that at that point, uh, <coughs> people go to the polls again and choose their party representation for their constituency in order to actually um, elect the National Assembly. So, whoever wins as president will probably not actually have any parliamentary support. Um, because none of them, I mean, Marine Le Pen now belongs to a very established party, but not necessarily an established party that can win enough support in the legislative elections. Emmanuel Macron has, well, he has a party, whether this party can actually win in, um, without any grassroots history in legislative elections, this is very much, uh, very, very much unclear. So whatever happens, um, nobody knows what kind of government um, regardless who wins um, in a week and a half, nobody knows what kind of government will actually emerge from these elections. The second thing is, of course, how do you measure the effect of Trump and Brexit, these big events that have had all of this international media coverage um, on, um, on the European electorate. Um, in the Dutch case, much have been much being talked about in terms of Gerd Wilders being the Dutch Trump and yes, Clara being the Dutch Trudeau. Um, whether this actually um, impacted the election is relatively difficult to say. Um, in France as well, it is relatively difficult to say how people who really mainly think of their own problems within a very national um, context, where do they see themselves in relation to Trump? Um, or to Brexit. Um, it, is, it is true, for example, that Marine Le Pen, just after, just after the Brexit referendum, um, went out with this um, big um, press, press conference saying, well, Brexit, great, next is France. Um, ever since this stance towards um, leaving the EU in the same terms as Brexit, must not have actually done her very good especially because Brexit in Europe is seen as a rolling failure. So, again, it could be that it has, it has affected things. I'm not sure wake-up call is the, right, is the right word, but it definitely affects things. Just how is relative. It's, I'm sure in 10 years, 20 years, there will be people who will be able to measure it and will be able to look at, at statistical and sociolo sociological research. At the moment, it's relatively hard to say.